welcome to the stage, Ben PUBG. Good evening, my name is Ben, and I'm here to talk at you. My first poem tonight is titled Erotic Botany or Erotony. You open like a flower and ask me to drink your nectar. I spray you for aphids. You die. I wrote that poem at a difficult time in my life after coming out of an awkward relationship. Uh, you probably know the kind when you meet a woman and you're trying to make conversation, so you think, ask her about herself, so you ask the first question that comes into your head, like, how did you lose your arm? And then to your humiliation, you realize she's got two arms. And that was a difficult time, but those relationship problems are over for me now, as I am married, I am a father, so you know what that means. I have had sex. Uh, I have three children, two of them are twins, so I have only had sex twice. <laughs> which is one of the reasons uh, twins are known traditionally as God's cruelest joke. It's quite a big uh, moment when you find out you're going to have twins. Obviously when you decide to have a child, you understand twins are a possibility, but you never think it's going to happen to you. Uh, it's a bit like when you drive to work. Obviously, you know it's a possibility. A plane will fall out of the sky onto your car and kill everyone in it. But you don't think it's likely, so you drive to work anyway. Now, I'm not saying that having twins is the same as dying in a nightmarish multi-vehicle catastrophe. I'm not saying that, but that is what I say to my twins. My second poem tonight is titled, Desire, question mark. <laughs> I like my women like I like my donuts. Hot, sweet, filled with jam, and purchased from Dandenong Market. People often ask me, why are you such a militant feminist? And I say to them, my mother was a woman. Her mother was a woman. Her mother's mother was a woman. And if you look through my family tree, it is women all the way back. Genealogically, I am female. And so I do not put up with sexism just as I do not put up with racism, because I believe there is only one race. I forget which one it is. <laughs> I want to say Egyptian. But the point is there's only one, and if, if we could all understand that, we would all stand a much better chance of dying happy, which is all I want from life. All I want is to die happy, and that's why whenever I feel happy, I attempt suicide. Last year, my wife threw me a surprise birthday party, and it was fantastic. I had no idea. I come in, the lights turn on, everyone yells, surprise, all my family, all my friends. There's music, there's dancing, there's balloons, there's cake. I thought, this is the best night of my life. And I went into the backyard, and I tried to convince the dog to maul me to death. And it didn't work, because I'd fed the dog before I came in. But I said to myself, hey, you'll be happy again someday. Give it another go. And that's the point about suicide. You've got to put in the work. 
A lot of young kids today think they can just cruise into suicide and coast on natural talent, and it doesn't work that way. You have to put in the hard yards. You know, it's like Gandhi said, I'll fuck anything that moves. <laughs> My final poem tonight is a work in progress. It's titled, Girl, I Saw at Nando's, an Ode. Apricot leggings. That's all I have so far. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you tonight with a thought and if you go home tonight with any thought embedded in your brain that makes you reflect, this is the idea I want you to be thinking about on the way home and that is, I need money. Thank you. That's Ben Pubgy, ladies and gentlemen.